Patriotism is not a loyalty oath. You must love your country, but always believe it can be improved. Can't we do better? We couldn't find out how many kids were getting killed in, in the war, you know, so I'll put up a sign and I'll put up a flag for every uh, uh, person who is killed so people who come by know that something is going on. The youth sees patriotism as taboo. An American flag as taboo. It's pro-war, it's political, it's it. That's not the way it was supposed to be. You know, when you go up on Memorial Day and you go into a cemetery and you see all those flags flying on all those graves and each one of those graves marks a hero. Each one of those graves you walk upon, you put your hand on that tombstone. There's a story there that he could tell you about his uh, duty and his service and so. James is the first person to react and, and he picks up the colors and then turns to his father and yells, come on, Pop, I am all right. Come on, Pop, I'm all right. It's very personal and it's not for country, for, you know, for God, for, you know, it's, come on, Pop, I'm all right. Well, the real Betsy Ross. American lawyer, Francis Scott Key. Mary Pickersgill. My time in Vietnam was spent with, I was, an air, I was on aircraft, I flew aircraft all the time. You know? We lost about 18,000 guys in Iwo Jima. It's just so, it's beautiful, the, the diversity, the clash of opinions. He's a mess, he's crazy, <laughs> but he's a nice guy. What did you talk about? Then we're going home. <laughs> What, what great defiance was there after 9-11 than to put that flag up over the spot where they thought they had defeated us? We put your name up on the screen to say, this is Bob Rader. What do you want us to say? Re the Air Force retired, or how do, you, how do you want us to say that? Patriot. Okay. 